Hi winners, look, welcome to Terry Sips. Guys, yes, I got a good one for y'all today. How to use gas cards and fleet cards to build your business credit. Guys, go get a notebook and go get a pen because I'm gonna give you tips through the entire video. One of the reasons is because there are dozens and dozens and dozens of cards and they vary widely as far as their approval criteria, how they report, how you should use them. So I'm gonna give you high level overview of what you need to look for. And guys, you do not have to be a trucking company. You do not have to be a car rental company. Guys, you can use these fleet cards and these gas cards in your own life. Listen to me, y'all. So this is super important because guess what? They are revolving trade lines, okay? So this is gonna help catapult your business credit building to another level. This is gonna help you look more fundable and more credible on paper so you can qualify for the bigger money. Got it, got it, good guys. I hope I was enough time to go get a notebook and go get a pen, okay? And if you are new, welcome. My name is Terry. I am a self-employed entrepreneur, a mother, a YouTuber personal business credit guru, guys, over 20 years of experience. I know I look young, but over 20 years, guys, and I upload brand new videos every Tuesday and Thursday Monday. I'm also an investor. Guys, I would love, if this information is helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe so we can grow and come up together. And guys, real quick tip, I put my contact information in the description of every video. If you want to schedule a strategy session, the link is in the description. If you want to enroll in Credit Leverage Lifestyle, the link is in the description. If you want information for credit builder accounts or if there's specific things I talk about in my video, guys, I go back and I add the links in the description. I even put our company email. So if you need to reach me, you want to schedule time with me, go to the description of this video. That's where I put the links for everything. And guys, I'll do my nugget at the end. Okay, so let's start off because I'm just going to drop nuggets through the entire video. So first, make sure you still have your business set up right on paper, okay? That means the fundability piece, making sure you have, you're incorporated. You know, you have your EIN, you have your DUNS, all of those things. Do not skip that part because you still need to have your business set up and be credible on paper for you to qualify for these revolving trade lines, credit cards, guys, that you can use for gas and other things. I'm going to talk about that all in the video. Okay, so make sure you do that and make sure you at least have your, I would say three to four to five vendor accounts. That is ground zero. That's step number one. I just talked about this, about how you use the vendor accounts to set up business credit profiles and business credit scores. But this is where, guys, you can do five vendor accounts in one month, get your fleet accounts, and you know, the very next month, you can be up and running and be totally fundable in like a good like 30 to 90 days, guys. That's why business credit is so powerful to actually leverage. It's making your business look more experienced, credible, fundable on paper. So always remember, tip, 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 tip. For business credit, you wanna have multiple trade lines, multiple credit references. Each individual vendor account, each individual gas card, each individual fleet card equals a credit reference or a trade line. The more you have the vendor, set up your business right on paper, have at least four to five vendor accounts, then you can go right to the fleet cards, right to the gas cards, okay? And this is where all together, if you really wanna look really strong on paper, that way other lenders will give you the high limit cash credit cards, the lines of credit, the business loans, you wanna have at least 10, 15, 20 is better, but at least 10 to 15 multiple trade lines, multiple references that really look fundable on paper, okay? That was a nugget. Now guys, there's three, a tip, there's three major players in the fleet card, gas card space, okay? WEX, by far, W-E-X, WEX, handles like maybe two-thirds of the market for fleet cards and gas cards. They control everything. They have fleet cards, they have um, WEX Fleet, they have Murph USA, but they also have 7-Eleven. They have Chevron, they have, what, Circle K, I wrote down some, 76, um, Golf, Exxon, like uh, they have all these cards, like WEX card, if you look at these other cards, these other fleet cards and gas cards, like even Sunoco, they're all funded by WEX. So by far, WEX is the biggest player in the like the uh, fleet card gas card space tip never default with wax <laughs> because you are going to be blackballed by the whole market okay because they they control so many revolving trade lines 
The next one, the second biggest player is a fuel man, right? Um, a, um, fuel man fleet core. Okay. And then there's, um, X, A X L E. So this is where I will put the links down in the description for those three major players. Start with Wex because they have multiple, 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 multiple cards. Guys, you can apply for ones that are in your area. Another tip, another tip, another tip for the fleet cards. Some will just be fleet. Some will, um, fleet gas, same thing, interchangeable, fleet gas cards. Some will be for a specific place, so like an Exxon one or a 7-Eleven, where when you use them, if you go to those places, sometimes you even get discounts on gas. Yes, y'all. And then there's some that are universal, or sometimes they will have like a MasterCard logo on them. So some of these actual fleet cards and these gas cards, guys, depending on what you get approved for, what you apply for, how fundable you look on paper first, having a business email, website, all of those things are done. The ones that have like a MasterCard logo, there have been people who have been able to like use these cards to get like office supplies and use them at other places, okay? So that's a tip. Pay attention to the type of card you're applying for and what you get approved for. Some will be, you can use like the Fleet Universal, um, the Wex Universal ones, you can use it like almost like 90% of gas stations. Some you can use anywhere if you use a specific gas station, uh, gas station. say you get approved for like, you know, a Sunoco or an Exxon. You can use the card anywhere, but if you go to that particular gas station, guys, you even get a discount. Sometimes it's like five cents, six cents, eight cents off of the price of gas. That's heavy. That's that's heavy, okay? And so, and then some with the MasterCard, the Universal logo, you can use anywhere for almost anything. Yes, y'all, okay? Now, another nugget. When you are filling out the application, you put in all your business information, business address, business phone number, business email, everything for your business. Now, they will still ask for your personal information, right? Your name and your social. They are not, for like 90% of them, they are not doing a hard credit check. They are not checking your credit or anything like that. They're not putting it on your personal credit. They're doing it for identification, guys. After 9-11 and more so recently, there have been a shift in some of the business credit criteria. Now they are required to, to uh, verify your identity. You know, if I'm Terry and I'm applying for a card by business's name, well, they need to verify that me, Terry, I am the business owner. I'm authorized. Or else they're just giving credit cards, you know, and revolving trade lines to somebody who doesn't even like, is not even part of the business. So don't be scared to put in your information because a lot of times it will say, read when you're doing the applications, guys. This is a nugget because it will say a hard credit check, soft credit check, or for identifying purposes only. The majority of them will be identifying purposes only. And that means they're not making you be a PG. They're not putting it on your personal credit. They are, a, they are verifying that you are the business owner authorized to take out credit. Okay. Another tip. When in doubt, pick up the phone. I actually recommend it for a lot of these, and I want to tell you why. The terms very, 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 like the terms are very wide as far as what they approve and what they deny. You can and you should in these cases because it's so it's so varying. Do the application over the phone. You can do the application over the phone with the 800 number. That way you can ask all your questions and you can say, are you doing a hard pull? Are you doing a soft pull? What credit bureau do you report to? What are the repayment terms? Okay, guys, so that's another tip. Do the application on the 800 number over the phone. This is something very different. You haven't heard me say in other videos, but this is very good, very um, beneficial to you for the fleet cards and for the gas cards to do the application over the phone, okay? Another tip is that sometimes they will do a soft pull and they just to verify the information. Sometimes they'll do a soft pull and they'll be looking at your credit too. Sometimes they will do a hard check. It's very rare that they do a hard check, but this is why when in doubt you ask. Another tip is the repayment terms. Guys, this is a big one here. Make sure you understand the repayment terms. For fleet cards, for gas cards, the repayment terms can be anywhere from like net five day, net five, net seven, net 14, to net 30, right? So this is where some of them in the very beginning, because they have very low like approval criteria for a lot of them, and they will give brand new business owners credit right away, a revolving trade line, which is 
heavy, which is major, which is why I'm doing this video because these revolving trade lines will help you get the uh, business American Expresses, business chases, the business discovers, the business, you know, all of those other cards, the business capital ones. It will help you transition into the lines of credit. It will help you transition into the 0% interest, high limit cash credit cards. Guys, you know, if I'm doing a video, I'm doing it for a reason. This is the low hanging fruit that many of you guys are missing. Get some of these cards, guys. Okay. And first of all, who can't use gas? We can all use gas. This is where you use your business credit cards to get business, you know, to use for your everyday life expenses. And that way your personal credit, your personal funds can be used for your personal life. It's helping to give you what? Leverage, options, better rates. Okay. So make sure that you're, you're um, applying for these things and that you're asking the right questions. Now, another tip, another tip, another tip. Oh, the terms. I'm sorry. So make sure you understand because sometimes they'll have like a net 14 term in the very beginning. Sometimes they'll give you really strict terms for like the very first six months. And after you've had six months worth of on-time payments, then they'll make it like 30 days or so. So make sure you understand because what you definitely don't want to do, especially for business credit guys, is you do not want to get a credit card or an account and they have a net 15, you know, uh, repayment term, meaning that you, when you use the card, you have to pay it back in 15 days and then you miss it and then now you have bad payment history for business credit, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> okay. So ask, and mind you, they will say, well, we'll make it, you know, right now it's net five or net 15, but then after six months worth of payments, we'll make it a different repayment term. Make sure you understand guys, if you are, you know, bad with managing money and paying back your know, bills on time, put a reminder on your calendar. Like, remember you're using this strategically. You might be like, well, 15 days, I, like, why am I using it at all? You're using it to build business credit. That was, that's the answer. You're using it to build business cards. You can get other money, okay? So put that gas when you're on your way to work <clears throat> or to go see your properties or to go on a business trip or to go to a client appointment or event. Put it on your gas card. Pay it when it's due. Got it, got it, good guys. All right, another tip is the amount. Some of the cards will actually ask you, they ask you, how much gas do you use? How much do you need? If you put, I need $100 a month, then they're going to give you a $500 card. So say a higher amount, okay? I need $1,000 a month. I need $2,000 a month. That's how much I drive. A lot of times they will give you, you know, that amount that you ask for or even more. So be smart about the amounts that you ask for, right? You don't want to get into too much credit. But remember, you know, a $500 revolving credit card looks a lot different than, you know, a $3,000 or a $6,000 fleet card, okay? It's going to help you transition a little bit faster. Another tip is the amount of cards. Cars. Cars, cars, vehicles. <laughs> so they will ask you, how many vehicles do you have? Now, mind you, it may be you and you just have your car. Guys, you can be strategic. Now, some of these videos tell you the outright lie. I'm not saying that. Terry's brand is not about that. I tell you guys to do things the right way. However, you can embellish some, meaning maybe it's you and your mom and dad or you and your husband or you and your wife or you and your husband and you have two kids and one of them have a car. So maybe for your household, there's three cars. So say three cards, cars, then that's where if you need a thousand dollars a month and you have three cars, that's three thousand dollars. And a lot of times they'll double that and they'll give you like six thousand. So be strategic about the number of cars that you have. Now, don't be crazy. You got one car and you're telling you have one car and you're telling them you have 15 cars. No, I'm not saying that. But let's say you plan on being say you are a trucker or say you do plan on doing transport or say you do plan on getting fleet cars or say you do plan on renting cars out or doing tour or something of that nature. Or say you do plan on getting like a company vehicle, then say two cars cars, three cars, maybe it's your own personal car and maybe you plan on getting another vehicle within a year or two years. Okay, guys, that's another nugget. Another tip is that sometimes they may ask for a deposit. So if they ask for a deposit, guys, don't be like, oh my gosh, you're doing it to do what? Again, build business credit. So sometimes if you ask for a 200, if they ask for a $200 deposit, they will three times that. So if they you give them five hundred dollars, then they'll give you a fifteen hundred dollar limit. You give them two hundred dollars, they'll give you like a six hundred dollar limit. So whatever kind of security deposit, if they require it, a lot of times they will three times that, and that means a revolving trade line on your business credit report will look that much stronger. Okay, guys. And uh, the last tip, another tip, is for the business credit report reporting. Most of them report to Dun and Bradstreet. The next is Experian, and Equifax is like, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Equifax is like the smallest of the bureaus. Not many of them report to Equifax. Sorry, I need some water. I'm like choking over here, guys. 
So this is where, you know, you want to make sure that you're done in Bradstreet first. You're like your DMV file, like make sure you have it done first because a lot of them will at least check there. And then they also are going to report there. You can ask them. They will tell you we report in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So get the card, use it, wait for it to report and then go get another one, guys. Now, this is where if wet reports, to, you know, controls like 10 different cars, uh, cards, you don't want to do like, you know, three WEX cards in one day, like get one, wait like a little bit, then get another one, then wait a little bit, then get like another one because WEX controls kind of all of them. But after you've paid a couple of things on time with them, it's going to be like easy like this. Guys, you know how your business credit report is going to look if you're fundable on paper, have a DUNS, have between <clears throat> four and five vendor accounts, have like, <coughs> excuse me, like five or six, um, gas cards i'm like dying on here like what in the world and then you have that that will help you transition into lines of credit guys so use the gas and fleet cards to your benefit to build your business credit and guys another tip a last nugget is that you can use it for gas a lot of times you can use them for oil changes you can use them for tires you can use them for maintenance some of the cards you can use if they have like a uh, like say there's a sunoco and then they have like a little like you know like the little grocery store there you can use for items inside the store so you can actually use them for multiple things guys use them that way you're not using your own money your own cash Got it, got it, good. All right, so I hope that that was helpful. I am going to, depending on when you watch this video, I'm going to go back and put the links to these cars, to Wex, to uh, Fleet Man, and to Axe. Um, it's called like Pilot J or something. It's like a really weird name. I'll put it in. I'll put the links in the description. That way you can look at some of their, their cards. If you are fundable on paper, you have your EIN and your DUNS, guys, go ahead and get some Fleet and Gas cards. That way you can actually use them. But that way you can have revolving trade lines in your business's name. You're welcome. Okay. And for my nugget guys, I'm going to go in more depth in my, I wish I knew series that um, I'm going to do the video. I think at seven o'clock tonight on my IG page, uh, care credit tools about exposure. Guys, I talk so much about getting to this next level, about being an investor, about being self-employed. I did a video last night. Go to my, I wish I knew actually I'll, I'll link it here about having multiple streams of income multiple strains of income to actually create wealth and create legacy. Guys, the exposure piece is so important because I think some people don't even realize that it's a whole nother world out there. It may be a lot of work to work on personal growth and to budget and to build business credit, but I promise you, when you get to the point where you have multiple streams of income, where you have, have bought back your time and your freedom, it is a world like you haven't ever believed. Like there's no other feeling like being able to wake up in the morning and control your entire day and do what you love all day long. That is grace. That is favor. That is mercy. That is blessing. That is a lifestyle that some of you guys haven't even imagined. You are not meant to work, pay bills and die. You're not. You're not meant to live paycheck to paycheck. He did not make us to live that way. He meant us to be abundantly and exceedingly above our expectations. That's what it, that's what this life is about. And that's why I want you guys to get there. So when I talk about exposure on my I Wish I Knew Tonight, once your mind has been expanded and you've been around people who are living that life, oh my gosh, you go that much harder because now it has become reality. Now you've seen it, touched it, tasted it, been around it. And you're like, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it too. So for my nugget for today, make sure you position yourself to be exposed to new people, new things, new places, new opportunities. Because once your mind is expanded, you can never go back. Once your mind has expanded, you can never go back. Amen. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Like, share, comment, go to a care credit tools at seven o'clock tonight for I wish I knew where I talk more in depth about exposure. Please subscribe and have a beautiful day on purpose.